So now to a special surprise for a fourth grader in Moncton. Over the summer, Easton Lackey noticed a neighbor practicing the bagpipes was being given a hard time by another adult. Easton decided to step in and now he's being surprised by a school and a team of New Brunswick's most notable pipers. CTV's Cami Kepke has more. It's not every day a full pipe band shows up to your school, but Easton Lackey is not your average fourth grader. Over the summer, he enjoyed listening to his neighbor walking up and down the street practicing his piping. But one night, he noticed something that bothered him. I was biking with my friends, and I saw the guy come out and yell at him. So I went home, told my mom what happened, wrote a letter, and then the next day I put it on his door. Inside it said that uh, not to give up, uh, that he really enjoys uh, him and his family really enjoys uh, hearing me play the bagpipes. What Easton didn't know is that his neighbor is a member of the RCMP Pipes and Drums Band, which regularly performs in front of thousands of people. Eric Morant says the kind letter from a young stranger put a positive spin on an incident that initially left him feeling hurt. It's unbelievable how a simple act of kindness can change things. For him, it was just writing a card, and for me, it meant so much more. When Easton School approached Morant about putting together a special assembly, the whole band was eager to join in, teaming up to surprise Easton with a signed certificate of merit and a performance today. <laughs> really nervous and excited. <laughs> With Easton's proud family members looking on, Morant spoke about the impact of his kind actions. That's the message that we wanted to send, you know, for, for people to, to be kind to each other, because you never know. You never know how much your kindness will, will bring positiveness to somebody's life. Pretty cool. I'm pretty proud of him. He, uh, he's a pretty good kid. Jim Chapman hopes his grandson's letter sets a precedent for his young classmates. And with a gym full of smiles cheering Easton and Morant on, it's safe to say they found a way to end their story on a high note. Cami Kepke, CTV News, Moncton.